Hello everyone, John of Wales here, and uh, today, short little tutorial video on how to change stack sizes and how to upload them to a server. One file you will need, or program, excuse me, is called FileZilla. I'm going to give a nice shout out to GPortal who were nice enough to, uh, about a year ago, kind of show me how to do this stuff. Uh, G Portal is where I do my servers, so if um, you guys are looking for somewhere to get a server for a specific game, I th believe they have console servers too for specific games. But uh, yeah, G Portal is where I go to get my servers. I don't I don't use Steam's little dedicated servers for games. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into how to change stack sizes. So for the sake of this tutorial, I will be changing the stack sizes of the ores. So first we're going to do uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our Imperion folder. So you could see the path here. I'm going to run through this path real quick. So usually when you load this up, you'll get this menu. Like when you go into when you open up file browser, then you're going to go to local disk C. Program files 86 down to Steam to Steam apps common then into the Imperion folder. I'm not 100% sure, but uh oh, my little bar down here is kind of freaking out. Oops. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe Imperion is mostly players use it on on Steam. Other than that, you might have to find out where your Steam folder is or your Imperion folder is, excuse me. Once you do, once you've located it, you're going to go into content configuration. Uh for the sake of this tutorial, items config. Uh I already have it open. And what I'm looking for obviously is a stack size of whatever I want to change. So, for the sake of this tutorial, I have changed the ores, all the ores, so, like, iron, copper, silicon, um, all of that stuff. All the stack sizes are now going to be 8,000, uh, but I'm going to give a, a rule of thumb here, a safety precaution, uh, before you make any changes is to copy this folder and save it somewhere else maybe on a different folder on your desktop that way in case something in case you like make a big mistake um, you can just then delete the, the folder that's or the file that's in your Imperion folder and then you just copy and paste the old one back in there to reset everything kind of a, a safety precaution uh, now, I kind of know what I'm doing with most of this stuff since I am editing a Chaos server, which um, I'll go into depth on that in another video. But so we've changed it. Now we've saved it. Now it says 8,000. So then you go into the game. Then you're going to start a new game, single player. Pick whatever the hell you want in here, I guess. Survival is what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to hit start. Nice sip of my water. Some Those Propel Fitness water things, they're pretty good. I get the Raspberry Lemonade one. Kind of let everything kind of load in. You're approaching Dagtan. Steer your escape pod to a safe spot. Well, how about that tree? Let's go crash into a tree. I've... Yeah, that tree looks good. Yeah, just for science sake, let's crash into it and see what happens. See if we can actually get stuck into the top of the tree. Nope, you just right into the tree. Screw it. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't knock the tree down either. That would be kind of nice. Okay, so... To check to make sure that your stack sizes have changed 
Um, yeah, you can get out of here. You're going to want to open the console command, which is the tilde key, which is below the escape and just above the tab button on English keyboards. I'm not sure if the UK uses a different kind of keyboard, but you're going to want to open up the console command, so you're going to want to just, like, do a little research on how to do that. Um, but for most keyboards, it's just above the tab button on the left-hand side and below the escape button, just to the left of the number one key. So you hit that. Then you want to type in IM, which gives you the item menu. You hit enter, and then you should see right here the item menu state is enabled now. So then we hit escape to clear that out. Then you want to hit your, I believe it's default to H. So bring up your item menu here. Now that I've changed all the ores to 8,000, we're going to go look for, what is this, components? The components tab on this and now you can see all the stacks are now 8,000 instead of 4,000, which is what the vanilla setting is. Uh, you can change the stacks on just about everything. Uh, you can also change like uh, the mass, the volume, how much it weighs in your inventory. Because as you can see, uh, since the... I forgot what update it was with Imperion. They've, when they added mass, volume, and CPU, I think, all together. Those are like shotgun shells, not filters. Anyways, since they've uh, integrated the, the CPU mass and volume update, uh, you can kind of tinker with this stuff, kind of make it either heavier or lighter. Is that the Xeno? Yeah. Um, so you, you can also tinker with that stuff. Uh, if you guys want to see a little tutorial on how to do that, I can do that as well. But uh, as you can see, though, I've changed it to 8,000. So now what we're going to do is we're going to exit. And I'm going to show you how to upload it to your server. Now what you're going to need is specific information from your server. You're also going to need FileZilla. I will leave a link down below for you guys to be able to find that file. Or the program FileZilla. And then when you load it up you should get... Well it should be blank. There shouldn't be any of this stuff. What you're going to need is the host, which is usually the IP address. There's usually a username and a password that comes with it. It's nothing that you've set. It's something that's generated, at least for me. And then you're going to need the port number, which is usually a five-digit or six-digit. And then you're going to hit Quick Connect. And then you should get all this stuff on the right-hand side. So this is what's in your server. So if you're playing on a server and you've done everything that I've just done to change the, the stack sizes it's only going to work on your single player so what you need to do is refind your Imperion folder again that's in your either in your Steam or I don't know if, who else would be where else Imperion would be downloaded from but anyways you're going to refind your Imperion folder on the left hand side on this side you're going to go into it or if you've changed the file and then saved it somewhere else instead. Uh, but for, for tutorial's sake, we know that I've saved it here in the content configuration folder. So then you're going to take the items config. You're going to click it. Whoops. Then you click upload, but you have to be in the same folder over here. So I have to go into content, configuration. Now if I hit... Listing failed. What the? That's not good. Uh, anyways, you're going to go into this folder. I don't know why. I failed to retrieve directory listing. Um, I don't know what the heck's going on with it. Um, anyways, so then you're going to just hit click upload. And it'll ask if you want to overwrite it. You say yes. And that's how you get it into your, your server. Um... This might be because my server, which is, uh oh, where did that go? Oh, here we go. Is done through G Portal. Oh, damn it! I freaking clicked the wrong thing. Uh, all right. Anyways, let's bring that back up. So I use G Portal, and for the sake of tutorial, I'm gonna log in. Mine's already saved as whatever. Um, we're gonna go into the chaos server so you're gonna see uh, under s status 
here's all your stuff. I can reset. I'll reset this all in a few minutes. But that's where you find all all that information that you need to enter up here. And then you can quick connect, and then you can uh, change all that stuff here. Uh, like I said, you just gotta make sure that you're copying and pasting it in the same exact folder as where it is on your computer. And then you should be able to use it on your server. Now with the GTX server, I just had that open. Uh, uh, this is what, I guess, the GTX page is. So this is for UK users. Um, it's probably going to be the same thing with File FileZilla. I don't think there's going to be any differences. I'd, I've never used GTX. Like I said, I've always used GPortal. Because I can check everything here. I can check basic settings, config... Oops. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. My config files. So if... Admin config, all that stuff. I can I can check it all here. So um, yeah, so that's how you uh, upload it to a server is through FileZilla. Uh, so I don't know why that's not working. So let's do a quick tutorial on on getting all of that information. So it wants my my host name. So I'm gonna take the host from. There, there's. Oop, yep. And I will change all of this in a bit. Or I'll just reset the password that way, you know. Okay. So you can see I've entered everything here. Uh, let's bring this over here. So all of this information has now just been entered here, so you can kind of see how it correlates up there. I just basically highlight. Control C, and then I can go up here and hit Control V, and it'll paste it for me. And then I hit Quick Connect. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's because I already have it open. Connection established. Waiting for retrieving directory listing, and then boom, it'll give you the directory. So if I go now, if I go into Content Configuration, do we have all our? Okay, we have everything here. So now I can see that Item Config is here. So that's what I edited over here. So I would then click this and hit upload. And this is what you'll get. Um, so there's already a file that exists that asks you if you want to overwrite it. You can say, if you're uploading multiple files, you can select which ones you want to overwrite. I don't know why you would do, say, skip. I guess if you hit the wrong thing or something. It's nice to know that you can select which ones. Um... So if you have a bunch of files and you only edited a few and you just want to just upload them and you don't feel like picking through them, I guess. But then you can hit overwrite and then you hit OK. For, for right now, I'm going to hit cancel, though. And then that... Yeah, that's because I didn't transfer anything. Unless I did. I guess I did. And then that will update here on the server and then you have to... I believe you have to re just restart the server... Uh, it's probably a good rule of thumb to restart it. So, that's how you upload it onto a server. And then you should be good to go. Okay. Now that that's all done, you should be able to load into your server. And now that I've just also reset my password on... <laughs> G portal. Um, so, like I've said, I've never used GTX before. Uh, it's actually just new to me. I believe it's all the same. You just got to get that information, and you should be good to go. Because it'll only work on single player if you don't upload it to your server. It's very important. But anyways, thanks guys for checking out this video and learning a little bit about Imperion and how to change certain things about the game. Uh, if there's other things that you want to learn or know, I'll look into it, do a tutorial on it if I can. If not, I'll point you in, at least point you in the right direction. Uh, but other than that, uh, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be here when new content is released. And other than that, I will catch you guys later.